I've been collecting and keeping in my shed for a while now um, have been plastic containers. Many of them uh, you can't recycle at the recycling bins, they'll only take bottles. So I've been collecting things which I've been thinking would make good seed trays or even plant pots. These are ideal, they're old takeaway trays and they have a lid which if you got any old containers with lids as well they're perfect as, as little mini greenhouses. You need to put some holes in the bottom for drainage but these are going to be great. I'm definitely going to use uh, these in a little while. Um, other things have lids like these um, delicatessen style things and um, also you don't have to have lids. This old food tray is a good depth for putting some soil in, some um, compost in and putting seeds in as well. Um, if you haven't got a warm place, cling film over the top works just as well. Um, it does give the greenhouse conditions. Um, I even found in my office an old container for paper clips, would you believe it? Uh, again with a lid, put some holes at the bottom and it'll be fine. Jam jars aren't so great. I have been collecting jam jars. Um, they're good for storing bits and pieces, but they're not good for seedlings because you can't actually put any drainage holes in. So these might make good cloches later on, as do plastic bottles, um, but I don't think I'll be using those for actually putting up the seedlings this year. I've got loads actually, so I'm well on the way. As well as looking around your own house and garden for things that you may have been collecting ready or are just left over from previous projects or years, it is worth keeping your eyes open when you're out and about walking around the streets. Just last night I was out posting a letter and in a public bin was this blind, old bamboo blind actually nothing wrong with it um, but stuff like this is great for screening off areas that are a bit unsightly and actually read about using things like this in The Thrifty Gardener by Alice Fowler and didn't expect to find one quite so quickly so that's fantastic I couldn't even leave a note in a skip as to uh, do you mind if I have this it wasn't in a skip outside a house it was literally just in a big communal refuse bin. So one person's junk is another person's treasure. That's great. I'll be using that definitely to screen some bins for perhaps um, potatoes or a wormery I'm thinking of getting. And then down the road was a skip and it had loads of old broken bricks in. Now these I'm going to use initially at least to weigh down the polythene uh, to warm up the ground so I need I was I needed some weights for doing that um, these are great and I may well use them later to stand pots on so they can get good grainage as well um, skips are fantastic um, it's up to you if you want to consider that they're there for the taking stuff in a skip or whether you want to leave a note or not I literally just took a handful of half-used bricks in a full skip so I didn't bother anyone with it um, there's loads of stuff out there for free. So keep your eyes peeled next time you're out. Oh, hello. It's amazing what you can find when you just go out walking around the streets near your home. I went out just to buy a local paper last night and I found two containers that are going to be absolutely ideal as containers in my garden or on my uh, balcony for growing things. Um, one I was amazed is an old um, dustbin. It uh, was literally being thrown into a tip as I walked past. Um, someone was clearing a house 
and I asked if I could have it. It's got no lid, so it's probably of limited use as a dustbin anymore. But this size of dustbin is perfect for growing potatoes. So that's what I'm going to use it for. Um, it's got a broken handle, but that doesn't matter. And I'm just experimenting with painting it because black isn't too unsightly, but uh, my shed and my fences are painted green. And I think it will blend in more if I paint it green and then pop it in a sunny corner. So I'm just experimenting. I don't know whether the timber um, paint is actually going to stick to this plastic. So I'm just trying it on a little strip at the top there. And then, same house, clearly redoing a bathroom or toilet and um, throwing out old um, old water system with the ball cock and everything in there. It's a bit, it's very in fact mucky in there, so I'm going to have to clean it out. And I will have to stopper up the holes that have got the pipes coming out, although this bottom one might be quite useful for drainage. Um, but this, I want to grow carrots in, because my soil is quite clay and that's not ideal for carrots. They prefer a more sandy soil. And I was already thinking I would grow them in a container. You need enough depth in the container, but also enough surface area to be able to grow enough to have a reasonable crop through the year. So this is gonna be ideal. Both of these items did cost me a penny. And literally, I didn't even go out specifically looking. I was out by a local paper, saw them being thrown out and asked, if I could have them. For me, these are two less things in a landfill site and that makes me happy. If you can find any containers around either already in your house and garden or that people are throwing out that will be ideal for growing things in, fantastic. I'm going to put some holes in the bottom, I'm going to see if this paint will take and then I think these will be fantastic. Um.